Hey everybody, Mr. Hayes back. More stats. We're talking about significance tests. Everything that you're going to see today, we have gotten through statsmedics.com website. Their link is down below. Um, and we're going to talk through the actual formal process of testing a hypothesis and see if it's correct or not and how we can draw conclusions from that. Um, a copy of these notes and everything else is also linked down below as well as the link to the second part of the video where we formalize all this. So if you have friends who aren't doing the stats medic stuff at a different school, that will probably be helpful for them. So obviously, please comment, like, subscribe, do all that other good fun stuff. So we are going back yet again to am I really an 80% free throw shooter? So we're going to estimate a p-value to see am I lying or not. Actually, probably not lying, over-exaggerating is probably a better way of saying it. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a significant test from a less than 9.1 again. So again, the hypotheses for this were as follows. Um, the null hypothesis was that my shooting percentage was, in fact, 80%. Um, and so Mr. Hayes is an 80% three-throw shooter. And the alternative hypothesis, since I shot, I think, 64%, is that um, my true percentage is less than 84% or 80%, so I'm not, or that actually I shoot less than 80% free throws. Um, would it be appropriate to use a normal distribution for this and justify your answer? A couple of things here, and this is where we're getting to it. So remember, for normal, we use large counts. So I'm going to take n times p, and we're going to assume that I am an 80% shooter, because again, remember, everything that we do, we're assuming that the null hypothesis is true. So 50 times 80 is 40, that's bigger than 10. And then one minus, or n times one minus p, 50 times 20% is equal to 10, which is greater than or equal to 10. So we're good there, okay? So yes, it's uh, the sampling distribution. Um, of I hat is approximately normal. Always good to answer the question, right? Um, what other conditions should we check? Obviously, randomness, because again, then we can extend it off to all of my shots. And then the 10% condition over here as well. Okay, and that's going to allow us to do what? Good. I knew you had that. So anyway, so um, and again, 50 is bigger than all potential free throws that I'm taking. So now that the conditions have been met, we're going to find the mean and the standard deviation. Pretty straightforward. We, since it's, um, we're assuming that my p hat is actually p, we're going to go ahead and have that as 80%. Standard deviation then is going to be our regular uh, formula for that. And then standard, um, so we plug all that in and we get a standard deviation of 0 0.0566. So now the big question here is this. So now use the mean and standard deviation to label the normal curve. So what we're going to end up doing over here is that I have my normal curve. Make sure we see that. Sorry. So we're going to make sure that we have our normal curve. I have 80% and 0 0.0566. Down over here is my 80%. And then down over here, oh, we don't know what my z-score is. So we're going to have to figure that out, aren't we? So with that, make sure I'm still recording for some reason. There we go. Sorry. So our z-score, remember, so we're going to take the difference between our p-values, p hat minus p, divided by standard deviation. So I do that over here. So 64% minus 80% divided by our standard deviation gives me a z-score of a negative 2.826. So it is not looking good for me. Um, so down over here. I'm going to be looking at 0.64. That is a z-score of negative 2.82. So find the probability of an 80% free throw shooter actually making only 64% of their shots. Um, so we go through normal CDF or through your table, and we get this. We get a 0 0.002 probability p-score here. Okay, So this is our p-value. So what conclusion can we make on this? Well, we are going to make the conclusion that I don't know what I'm talking about, basically. Um, because 0 0.002 is less than 5%, 0 0.05, we have convincing evidence that Mr. Hayes is less than an 80% free throw shooter. So effectively, we are rejecting the null hypothesis in favor of our alternative hypothesis. 
Okay. And we'll talk a little bit more about that tomorrow. But anyway, that's everything in a nutshell. We've set you guys up pretty well for this. So actually what we've been doing, obviously, is taking what we learned the last two lessons, taking our idea of z-scores and putting them together in a very nice, neat package. So anyway, we will formalize this on the other side. Obviously, follow the link, and we'll see you soon.